What is up y'all? This is Alex from Alex PC Tech again back at you with another video and on today's video we're gonna be doing a full long-term review of the GTX 1660 Ti from Asus. This is the triple fan edition. This is the ROG Strix. This is the highest and most top-of-the-line 1660 Ti that Asus offered in the market two years ago. So just for clarification, this unit or this graphics card is personally bought by me, by my own money, and I have been using this for two years now on my gaming PC, as you can see at the back. So I've just removed this from my gaming PC because I wanted to show you guys what's inside the box and to unbox it right here on the review itself. Why am I talking about a two-year-old graphics card? Because... This two-year-old graphics card has held its place well enough for 1080p gaming especially because I'm only gaming at 1080p to be honest because my monitor is at 1080p 1440, 1440 144Hz. So this actually did me a lot of service and I have been encoding my videos using the hardware encoding feature that NVIDIA offers with their products and to be honest that is the only reason why I went with NVIDIA because of the hardware encoding and of course this graphics card looks really badass as it has the triple fan setup and I really like a badass graphics card on my gaming computer who doesn't right I must I'm a sucker for visuals so without further ado let's unbox this one and as you can see this is the box it's not that heavy okay dun, 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 dun. it's just a little bit wide okay so this is actually a graphics card with only GTX with the Turing architecture with it. I believe that the Turing cores that came with this are the last generation Turing cores, which is the TU116, okay? The base clock of this one is at 1,500 MHz and the boost clock will be at 1860 i'll put a note on the description down below for the full specs but as you can see we have the strix branding on the inside of the card as you can see and we're gonna be opening it this is like again a shoebox design for the box okay so upon opening it we have the this small thing okay let's remove this one and we have a foam <laughs> we have a foam okay so after that inside the foam is the card itself with the anti-static bag so first let's put this aside and then let's check what is inside this small box that asus provides with the graphics card so i like the packaging the packaging is very nice so asus open it up and it has the okay the speed start or the quick start manual and the CD driver. Okay, who uses this? Now that nowadays, okay, maybe two years ago, there are lots of still there are still lots of people who is using it. But now they have implement implemented a USB type of driver for their products. So let's set this aside. So it's like a it's like a CD compartment that you can see. So let's put that here. And then let's go to the graphics card itself but there are some things actually that is in here as well aside from that we have the oh what are the oh sorry <laughs> this is for the graphics card itself these are tweezers sorry no these are what they call the zip ties that asus provides it has the branding republic of gamers it's very nice of them to include that especially on this ROG Strix models, at least you have a zip tie that says ROG, okay? So let's put these aside. And then let's go with the graphics card itself. Let's remove it from the, uh, with the box, okay. So there's a really thick foam inside. That's really useful with shipping and all that stuff. Let's put this one aside and Let's open the graphics card. So it comes with this anti-static bag that is not transparent. It's a little bit grayish, okay? 
Dun, 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 dun. Okay, yeah, this is the card that I have been using for quite some time now. So, let's talk about this card, okay? This card is actually targeted at 1080p gaming. Although you can still push your games to 1440p with a little bit of tweaking and of course it will still depend on the game. Some games really eat out resources when you put them on a higher resolution but in some cases you can actually tweak the game and game on 1440p with decent frame rates. That is if you can if you are probably playing an RPG game or a triple game a game title that is slow paced then a slow or a 1440p resolution is actually good to play with this card using this card. So what I really liked about this card when I was searching for a card two years ago was that first it, it has this triple fan actual design that Asus has on their high-end cards. So this is actually a very cool card compared to the other 1660 Ti's and I like that it is actually silent. So these fans are still silent after two years of use i have been using this card for a long time now and i am actually gaming fair in a fair amount of time to be honest i am gaming in a fair amount of time using these cards so what i really like about this card as well is that it has a dual bios mode so one is the quiet mode that you can that you can see here one is the quiet mode and one is the performance mode if you're in quiet mode then the fans wouldn't ramp up that much if you're gaming and on high load while on performance mode, the fans would actually ramp up pretty fast if you are having a very, very tough load or if you are playing at very high resolution and you are setting your game at a really high frame rate, the fans would actually ramp up very fast to the point that you can, you can hear them, yes, but it's still silent in my opinion. It's not a disturbing, there is no coil whine whatsoever. It's still silent in my opinion. So this is a two and a half slot card as you can see. And it has this backplate. Okay, as you can see the backplate. The backplate is really nice. Okay. It's just a backplate. Not unlike other cards right now that it also provides as a, it also serves as a heat spreader. This one is just a sexy backplate as you can see. Although it's very nice to have this card in a standing orientation if you ask me because of the leds that you can see on these sides of the card it's like this alien predator thing where the predator has this you know has its arm guard or whatsoever where you can see the leds just blinking like that in a, in a specific angle okay so aside from that, this has Asus's Max-Q technology as they are saying. It is a max contact. So the heat spreader has maximum contact over the GPU's chip. Okay, so I've actually dissected this card. I've actually tore it, not tore it apart, but opened it up. If you want to see that video, I'll put a link of the video of me tearing up or opening up this card down on the description below so without further ado we will be putting this card on tests one is we will be putting it under resident evil 6 benchmark and heaven engine benchmark and for the gaming test we have actually three games that we want to test this one out this is call of duty warzone battlefield 5 red dead redemption 2 and if ever i have other games that i wanted to test it out i'll just put them on the graph so that you can see and other than that, we will also be testing out the temperature of this graphics card when it has full load or idle. And aside from that, let's get to the graphs.
So that is it for this long-term review of the 1660 Ti. This is the triple fan edition from Asus. This is the ROG Strix OC edition. We wanted to test the power draw that this system is actually sucking out from the wall. But we don't have the gadget yet to measure the wattage that is coming from the wall to the CPU or the system unit. So if you want us to do that on our next review, please do hit like and subscribe to this channel as it supports us greatly and that would help us immensely pump out content, quality content mind you, such as this one. And as for the conclusion, as you have seen, considering that we were only testing the system on a closed case unit, although this case has actually this case has very good airflow, although we are testing it in a closed case unit, we tested it at room temperature. My room temperature was around 25 to 26 degrees and actually this card is really cool it's very cool it's the triple fan is working very well we tested all of those scenarios in the performance mode not on the quiet mode but still we actually didn't hear any coil, coil whine any whirring sounds when the fans are spinning up so it's really a good implementation on the fan and on the cooling itself so that's a point to asus Another thing is that this card really trumps 1080p gaming if, as you can see from the results. 1080p is where this card really shines. Other than that, you can also game at 1440p with reasonable frame rate, especially if you are playing slow-paced uh, RPG games or turn-based RPG games. You can still game at 1440p. For the 4K results, as you can see from the result, I cannot really game at 20 plus or 30 plus frames per second it is it really hurts my eye to be honest i hate the stuttering and although the details are very nice it's very clean i hate the stuttering when i am controlling my character or when i see the environment stuttering i really hate that so aside from that the value of this card right now is actually high because of the scenario that is going on but other than that if you can find a reasonable price for this card and if you are not playing at a higher resolution and you don't care about rtx as of for rtx we all know how that technology has developed throughout the years since it's released for, to me honestly i i was disappointed i hope that rtx would actually revolutionize how we view gaming and how it actually renders the graphics of the games but to me, as of now, RTX still has a, a lot of improvement to be made on. So with that said, I will still recommend this card on this date, 2021. If you are gaming on 1080p and you don't care about RTX, and if you find that the prices of the other or the latest GPUs are very high, you can grab one of these if it's being sell, sold on a very reasonable price. That would be it for this video. Please do like and subscribe and see you on the next video.